Hey guys, welcome back to Season 2, Episode 29 of our Technic Underground playthrough. And today, I have some pretty cool stuff I want to do today. And you'll be able to see it here. I'll give you a sneak peek. We have a little brass, a little blue alloy, some support frames. Ooh, I wonder. Some copper, iron, tin, whatever will we do? <laughs> Um, I want to go ahead and talk to you guys real quick about a few things coming up. A lot of you guys have been asking me to do, you know, feed the beast or something else such as, you know, a different mod pack. You know, I, I've really enjoyed Technic. I've done it for, you know, probably 75 to uh, 80 episodes now. And it's, it's getting to be pretty darn fun. I mean, it's, there's still a lot of stuff to do, but... You guys want me to move on to do something else, and I understand, you know, because, you know, we, we get bored of stuff after a while, right? Even even if, if it's something we like, we like to see something different, you know? We kind of like the little change up, the variety here and there. You know, that's why I was putting out uh, the Better Than Wolves mod, which I haven't put out any lately, but I will be putting some out soon. A lot of you guys enjoy those, and some of you guys don't. And it's understandable, people like some things and some people don't. Here's what I have been planning on doing lately. I've been doing this and been working on it since 1.4.5 and then the update came out. So I was like, eh, why not, we'll update, we'll go ahead and fix it up. So I've been working on this for the past few days now, getting a mod pack of my own ready. It's gonna have build craft, industrial craft, it's gonna have all, all of them updated. I'm gonna try and fit red power in there. I see some some pretty cool new red power stuff. Like they have uh, these giant cylindrical windmills in there. I've been playing with, and those things are pretty cool. And then I'm gonna be adding other things from Technic in there that I enjoyed. So we'll have a nice little new updated mod pack and updated Minecraft. Now you understand we're still playing on Minecraft version 1.2.5 in here. This is still 1.2.5. Technic hasn't updated. Or at least I haven't been able to update it. And so I've decided to go ahead and take matters in my own hands. And once I end this season off, which we will be doing pretty soon, I <laughs> I'm gonna start up that season. I'm gonna call it probably I don't know what I'm going to call it, but I'm going to, you guys will know what it is when it comes out, and I promise. So, you guys will have to keep an eye out for that. I will more than likely already have an episode done by the time the last episode of this comes out. So, when the last episode of this comes out with the world download, you guys will be able to probably click on that by then. So, just a little update of what's to come. Now, a lot of you guys are going to be like, no, Bentley, no, 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 and... All I can say is, guys, we all have to adapt to change at some point in our lives. <laughs> you know, even I get bored of this after a while. And I'm, you know, 80 plus episodes in this world, I think it's almost time, you know. I, there's a lot of stuff we haven't done in here. A lot of rail craft and stuff that we haven't touched on, really. And I think I'll probably wind up doing some rails and stuff too here. But I don't know how much of the actual rail craft I'm going to do to this. We will see. We'll see when we get there. I'm going to try to make these next few episodes, these next 10 or 12 episodes, uh, pretty cutthroat dry, straight to the point. This is how we're going to do it. Now, I want to go ahead and get started on this today. What we're going to be working on is... Uh, where are they? <laughs> Where are you? I'm going to find you. Where? Okay, no, seriously, where are you? God, I hate all those micro blocks. I wish I could hide those. They're a pain in the booty. All right, here's what we're working on. We're going to be working on making some support frames, which are fairly simple. We're going to need quite a few of those. So, actually, let's go ahead and make some of those up really fast. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. And we're just gonna half everything here, put in some brass in the center, from sticks, and we get support frames. So we got 14 support frames. We're probably gonna need more than that, but let's move on. I am gonna need to make a battery box. Let's go ahead and do a battery box now. We're gonna need nickelite, copper, tin, 
And we're going to need three of the, or four of those for the bat box. So let's go ahead and make some of those up. Alright, I need Nicolite. Nicolite. Hello. Nicolite. Let's see, do we have any in here? No, but we got a whole bunch of coal we can use. But I need it now. There we go. I'll let that switch over because I probably need some more in just a minute. Alright, so we need to flip copper around and put tin in the center. It's going to make us 16 batteries. BT batteries. Now we're going to need iron, blue alloy ingot, BT batteries, and a wooden blank. Now I am going to go ahead and try to make as many of these as I can. Looks like I can make four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. That's five. I don't know how to count. And four battery boxes. Nice. So now we got to... We're pretty much working with blue electricity today, so we're going to be working on that. I could make the solar panels, which I was actually working on. I actually got some uh, some stuff prepared today. Some blue doped wafers. It's the rolling machine. And to make some solar panels, all we need to do is pretty much make our blue alloy like this. And there's a solar panel. Now let's go ahead and just do this around the edges here real quick. I don't remember what our number was, and I think we'll maybe be able to get six out of them. So, there we go. Six solar panels, and I think I'll go ahead and make up some thermal piles as well. Do I have enough to make thermal piles? Silicon wafer. Put the silicon wafers in there. It's rolling machine again. <laughs> Hello, how are you doing, rolling machine? Right, well, we got enough to make two thermal piles, which I think should be enough for me. So I'm going to do this. What is it? Iron, iron. And then two. Two. So we'll make a couple thermal piles. Now, here's what we really want to make the frame motor. We actually want to make a few of these. Now we're going to need wow we're going to need a lot of crap so we're going to need to make this blue electric motor to make a blue electric motor we're going to need copper coils to make copper coils we're going to need to go back and to Bentville pick up our diamond draw plate which is here actually we could I just go back to Bentville <laughs> I'll just go back to Bentville and pick it up. I probably even have some of these materials in there already. Here we go. A little jiggery jaggeriness. For old time's sake. Yes. Actually, we have fine copper wire right there. Nice. Let's see, what do I need? Right, so, with the fine copper wire, I need iron bars and an iron ingot. Have any of that? All right. Let's make some iron bars. Uh, trying to remember what we needed here for copper coils. All right, so we're gonna need four pieces. All right, so iron goes in the center. Pretty sure like this, and then whoops, like this. All right, so we will make four. Copper coils. Let's pull these guys back. Alright, so we'll be able to make two motors. That's good. Let's go ahead and make up some more iron real quick. Oh, good lord. Alright, we got iron. We're good. Don't worry, we got it. And, <laughs> oh, wow. A little much there, don't you think? Alright, so two here, two here, and one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Alright, so now we got two blue electric motors. Now we can actually get to making this guy, which is really not too bad. We need two down here. We need two here, two here. Wait, was the rest of it iron? Yes, the rest of it was indeed iron. 
And there we have it, the frame motor. Now, these guys are pretty cool. Now, the bad thing is I do want to make some more of these. So let's go ahead and do this real quick. Let's see if we can do this real fast. Bam, bam, bam. Let's go ahead and pull out another stack of irony. We have 32 fine copper wires. We'll be able to make... Should be able to make at least yeah, eight of these. There we go. Get out of here. All right, then we'll take these two, put you these there, and we'll just split this up real fast. Make four more motors. I would pull all this out quickly, but it doesn't want to cooperate with me. All right, this goes in the center. Brass goes on the sides. And we need four of these guys. So now we got six motors, which is probably more than enough. So we are good to go. Now we can actually go get started on what I was wanting to do. Now I'm going to show you guys some pretty neat stuff you can actually do with it. This guy sounds mad. No one's mad at Bentville. Ooh, a little indigestion. <laughs> so someone said that I actually left. Uh, one of my horses in one of our, my other buildings, Isaac, and I don't quite remember which one that would be. Hmm. I mean, let's see, who we got here? Horsey. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I moved Isaac somewhere. Oh, there he is. There's Isaac. Good eye, whoever you, you said that did that in the comments on YouTube. I appreciate it. Good eye. There's Isaac. I remember putting him in here now. <laughs> I remember that. Hello, Isaac. All right, so we need to head back. Actually, I think we can actually do this here. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what we can do with these support frames and motors. So I'm going to need to place down something. What am I gonna do here? Trying to think about how I'm gonna do this. Now I wonder if this will work. Move that off the side. This might be able to work. And then we'll place see these are frames and, and what happens is is that these frames are actually allowed to be moved by the motors that we made, these frame motors. So you can see support frame, frame motor. You kind of get the <laughs> indication that that works like that through that. So now this guy is required uh, to have blue electricity. So we need blue power on here. So I'm going to go ahead and put. I wonder if this guy will actually drain power from there. And if I can actually gain power by. Oh. Well done, you. I guess we can actually open this guy up and okay. Okay, I got gotcha. you. All right. <laughs> I instead am going to use this. We'll use wood up here in the front. We're going to. One there, one there. Is this guy going to gain power? No, he is not. So, as clever as I am, I need wires. Where's where's all my wire? I don't care. I know how to make blue electric wire real fast. I just need, um, <laughs> I just need, uh, the wool to do it. Hello, black wool. Thank you. You are man's best friend. So I'm just going to go ahead and make two little quick stacks of it. This is how you make blue electric alloy wire. Blue alloy wire. Let's see, let's move this guy. There we go. All right, so you can see we cannot place it here right now. Let's go ahead and move him out of the way. We don't really need that piece there. And we'll place our block here here and then this here alright so this guy should be gaining power now so yes there he is 
let's go ahead and increase our solar panel experience here to speed this up a little bit. Actually, I don't know if that's going to work. Hmm. I mean, I'm, I don't think that's going to work the way I need it to. Alright, let's go ahead and move these pieces out like this. We'll do that. This should work. See, I still don't think that this one's going to work right here, though, for some reason. Like, this one's not attached. See, w the... <laughs> The basis to this is, right, is that these frames are actually allowed to grip an object. So, currently, this frame right here is gripping this wooden plank, this wooden plank, and that wooden plank. This frame is actually gripping these two frames and these two. Like, they're all gripping each other because uh, they're all touching each Well, okay, that sounds weird. <laughs> And this frame is actually touching that wooden plank, so it's actually able to move it along. Now, we do need to let this guy gain some power. Hmm. And the sun's going down. How unfortunate. I wonder if I can sleep until dawn. See if we can't try it out real quick. Because I am going to need light, and I'm going to need it now. I need light, and I need it now. Oh, seriously? I don't have a bed down here? Oh, wow. This guy was beast moding. <laughs> yeah, that guy kind of beasted. Wow, I don't even remember all this down here anymore. Oh, yeah, I got a bed in my room. I got to go into my actual house. Do -do -do -do. Do -do -do -do. Knocking on the front door. Knock knock. Bentley's home. Hello. Sleep until dawn? Yes, sir. Simulating the world at seven times the speed of sound. Do I seriously have to wait an entire minute? I was going to say. Okay, why is it. I feel like I'm actually playing a game in Windows right now. This is kind of ridiculous. This is. Like, seriously, come on. Like, how does it. Why does it take a minute? Come on, quit simulating the world. Just do it at a constant rate. There's nothing jittering. There's nothing on. I turned all the machines off. The solar panel machines off. The rubber machines off. The EMC machines off. Yeah, everything's off. This thing should just be working. <laughs> Say, like, come on, come on, come on, come on. It said 13 seconds. Come on. 10, 10. Nine, come on, eight, seven, six, five, four. Come on, guys, count with me. Four, three, two, one. Oh, good lord. Thank the lord. <laughs> that was painful. All right, so it's morning. It's a new day. There's endermans everywhere. And now we can actually hopefully get this guy actually charging. Now, now this guy does require blue power, so we'll go ahead and pull him up. And I'm going to put him right here. Actually, I'm going to place him like so. Get out of here. In fact, you can leave too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I thought. That's what I thought, buddy. Alright. Let's go ahead and see if we can't just get this guy powered up and get him charging real quick. Gonna go ahead and get some battery stored up into him, is what I'm gonna do. So, we're gonna do this, this, and we'll just hook them all up real quick. There we go. Right, so, that should be getting in power. So, let's demonstrate this guy a little bit. <laughs> hey, Birdie. I don't really know I'm gonna do this here without messing something else up. But we can try real quick. So we're going to move this guy with the screwdriver. 
So you can shift click and it'll actually move any direction like that. So that's that direction. Now if we hook them up with power and then let's say we apply this make us a quick bit of a lever. We need a lever. Do I have a lever? Yes, I have a lever. Perfect. Put the lever back down. And he's going the wrong way. So now I need to move this guy and this guy. So you can see it pulled the frames. It didn't actually pull this frame, but it did mess up my blue tricity wire. So I need to move him, I have to move him, and him. Let's get our frames back out. Let's try this one more time. Come on, come on. So you can kind of see how this is working, right? So this guy is actually storing up power still, which is good. It's what I want. So this guy is actually pushing that way. I want him to push that way. We want to move away from that. So now the basis of this is that we could pretty much make a moving vehicle, right? So let's see if we can't try to get this moving. Okay, so you see it's not moving because it doesn't have enough power to actually push. Or oh, actually, it doesn't have power at all. <laughs> it doesn't have power whatsoever. Uh, it needs actually power, but it probably still won't be able to push at all. See? So it doesn't have enough power to push these blocks up here. Now, say for instance, we go ahead and get rid of these. Break all this out in the front here. This is not going to move. Actually, this one won't move either. Okay, so this one should actually move now. You can see it got rid of the blue blue wiring. So what you'll have to wind up doing. I don't know if that's going to actually work. Now that I think about it. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if that's actually going to work. I'll have to relook that up. Because uh, some, you're going to have to wind up keeping the blue electric wiring somehow. And it's not allowed to run on the support frames. So let's try something real fast. And this might be able to help you guys out too. So let's open this up. Let's go ahead and put some of this stuff away that I don't need at the moment. Clean up our inventory. I need some paneling. Some covers. So we're just going to use these for now, for the time being. And if you place them on here, it actually makes a surface that will actually move along with it that I believe we can actually place blue alloy wiring on now. There you go. Bada bing. So if this works the way I want it to, let's go ahead and clean this up a little bit. We should be able to take our frame motor. Put him there. Let's see, we got our screwdriver. We want him to go. Pretty sure he's facing the right way now. Let's just take a quick. Oh crap! This thing's too strong. Let's see, actually, that's not gonna work. We need. We need this one. We need the frame. Just so I can kind of see going here. There we go. That's what we need. We need it to go that way. We want it to go that way. Now, 
We got power being supplied to it. Let's see if we can get this to work. Now let's go ahead and get rid of this guy. We don't really need him anymore. We're gonna put this guy down. The frame meter. We're gonna put a cover on it, and we'll be able to put a switch there. So let's see if this works. Okay, so it still pulled it up. That's unfortunate. Hmm. But you see, you see what I'm trying to get at here. So we can try it again. Put this guy down here. He keeps pulling it up. So definitely gonna have to play around with this. Um, but you are able to make vehicles pretty much, you know, you can make vehicles that actually move around You just click your switches and it pretty much move you around. I'm gonna try and make one I want to But I think what we're gonna use this technology for and I've pretty much gone on long enough But I really just wanted to show you guys this and we're gonna actually do this next episode and We're actually going to make a cool Gate and opening with these so we're gonna actually make a Kind of like a skylight for the underground area. We're actually going to go head back that way now. So anyways, guys, I'm going to end off this episode here. Next episode, we're actually going to get in there and do it. And I might go ahead and even start it off. So anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think. Uh, leave me a comment down below if you guys would. If you guys would also rate the video, I'd kindly appreciate it. And we're not too much further along. And I will see you guys next time. And until then, goodbye.